All right, well, I was born and raised in this beautiful church, and when I was in third grade on September 9th, 2002, I accepted Jesus into my heart, um, and my sister was the main person in my life who led me to do that, and we were actually in this room when it, when it all happened, so it's kind of crazy, but, um, so, I mean, that was the... Nope, nope. <laughs> Sorry, that'll all be edited. <laughs> okay. So, that was, that was the, you know, when I, you know, the big moment when I accepted um, Jesus into my heart. But, um, after that, to be honest, um, a lot of stuff didn't change for me. And then, um years later, like when I was in middle school and stuff, um, I was struggling a lot with emotional things and, you know, things that were going on in my family and stuff, and um, that caused me to be kind of rebellious um, at times, and then leading into high school, um, kind of the same thing, and then my sophomore year of high school, I went on my first mission trip to Hamlin, West Virginia, and I, that was a really big moment for me. I feel like that was more of the, the time I really accepted Jesus and understood what it meant to be a Christian and to follow him and not just say you're a Christian, but actually following him and, you know, doing his will and stuff. And so that was a really big moment for me. But even after that, I was still struggling a lot with emotional stuff and things like that. But um, from that point, I think I've just learned very slowly, you know, what it means to be loved for, you know, just being you, you know, God loves you because he loves you, you know, that was a, a big thing I learned this past summer when I went to Africa on a mission trip, they really emphasized the fact, you know, that like God loves you because he loves you, you know, like he loves you the same now as he will forever, you know, and that has just... That's just been really important to me because I've, I've struggled, you know, obviously with my emotional stuff. I struggled a lot with um, feeling like I was worth something and that, you know, my opinion mattered and that I mattered in this world and that I made a difference. And, you know, if I follow God's will and I, you know, I do everything in His name, like, I can make a difference because He is using me and I can be His hands and feet in this world. So, that's my story. <laughs>